Today, let's discuss why do we use a cement tank as a reservoir to collect runoff in a hydroponic system, and what will be the difference between EC and nutrient updates. As you all have must have gone through the hydroponic masterclass course, you might have seen that the reservoir tanks which we had were of plastics. We had used the tanks which come of seven layered PVC tanks. But as you moved ahead in the course, you must have also seen that we have replaced these tanks with concrete or cement tanks. So today, let's see why we have done this sudden change. Generally, the water which we are using for hydroponic farming is placed into these tanks and it gets heated for some while and goes through the pipes and flows into the poly house. So here the water gets distributed at different levels in a large surface area. But at the same time, due to temperature rise, the water gets evaporated and we can see there is a slight change in the water temperature. So if here we want to maintain a proper temperature of the water, then the suitable cost-effective method will be either we use any cooling system by using a cooler in the water or we use a natural phenomenon to decrease the water temperature. So here we can use a cement tank. If we plastic coat the cement tank from inside, so it will work the same as the seven layer plastic tank used to do. But this tank is buried under the ground and due to its natural characteristic, the water temperature drops up to three to four degrees Celsius and it cools up the water for the plant roots and also maintains the plant moisture. So, for this reason, we have used a cement tank and plastic coated it from inside. After doing plastic coating from inside the thing here, we have observed that it automatically drops the temperature of the water and most important thing that it does not affect the pH and EC value of the water. Both the pH and EC values will be maintained accurately. So here you don't have to think about the temperature, pH, and EC values while using the cement or concrete tanks. Just to drop the temperature of water this method is used. Learn more interesting stuff about hydroponics with us. You can also learn more about setting up your commercially successful hydroponic farm with us. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get upcoming videos on hydroponic growing to become commercially successful in this domain. Also, consider pressing a like button on this video. It will help us understand should we continue making more videos like this or not. See you in the next video with another interesting topic and hidden secrets of hydroponics.